Today we're doing Botox for Carol's masseters. Um, Botox or any neuromodulator can be used to change the strength of the masseter muscles and also change the size and shape of the masseter muscles. So there's two reasons to do Botox or a neuromodulator for the masseters. And one is for TMJ. If you grind your teeth at night, you know, popping and clicking, then and a lot of people have pain with TMJ, then doing Botox for this, and it's almost instant relief within a week. The, the symptoms are improved, and as it sets in over a period of two weeks, the symptoms largely resolve, go away. And those effects last four months. Uh, typically, Botox for fine lines and wrinkles in the face lasts about three to four months, but for TMJ, for the masseters, I've had it last four, five, six months regularly. The other reason to do it is, in addition to <coughs> treating the, the TMJ, uh, the symptoms of TMJ, it also slims the muscle along here. The muscle shrinks up a little bit, so you get a better angle of the jawline here and slimming. So some people have fuller cheeks and want more of a slim look. The Botox the masters will treat that, so it's twofold. And most patients do it for TMJ. Some people just do it for facial slimming, um, but for patients doing it for TMJ, they get the extra benefit of getting a little more slimming along the jawline. And it'll take about 10, 15 seconds. I'll show you here in just a second. Um, it's a little pinprick and doesn't really hurt a whole lot. It's quick. And afterwards, she can go on and do anything she wants to the rest of the day. Doesn't have to do anything special. It's very easy.